In this video, we're going to be building a Morserino 32, which is a multifunction Morse code machine. It's designed in Austria by the amateur radio enthusiast OE1WKL. Basically, if you're looking for a way to learn or improve your Morse code, the Morserino 32 platform is a great tool to help achieve that goal. The build itself is fairly straightforward, and after opening the package, my first step was to verify that I had all the required parts. Using the assembly instructions posted at the Morserino GitHub, the build is a relaxing, step-by-step -step process soldering components onto the PCB. One thing to note with the version 2 Morserino is that two of the audio jacks come pre-installed onto the circuit board. The tools you'll need for this build are at a minimum having a soldering iron and soldering wire. Due to the size of the components we'll be working with, I'd also recommend having a fine edged soldering tip, some type of magnifying lens, whether it be a magnifying glass or a microscope, good lighting, and a wire cutter. Though of course not all of these are a requirement, just a recommendation. The next step is going to be to solder the phone jack components onto the top of the board. The pin layout of the phone jacks are individually unique, making the placement of the components stress-free. Once the phone jacks have been installed, we'll solder on the trimmer resistor. It's the small blue square component with three pins on the bottom. The trimmer resistor will be installed in between the two recently soldered phone jacks on top of the PCB at a location labeled R21. Following the R21 trim resistor, we solder on a second trimming resistor to the top of the PCB at a location labeled R trim. In my case, this trim resistor has three pins in a triangular shape underneath and a twistable knob on top. The assembly instructions state the following. As these trimmers are hard to source and depending on availability have various footprints, there are more holes than needed on the PCB to allow for all variants to be fitted. It is important that the trimmer sits on the edge of the board and that each leg is in one of the vertically aligned holes. Next, we will fit a sliding power switch onto the board, which is a small three inline pin component with a gray and red finish. This will be the last component installed along the top edge of the board at a location labeled SW1. Following the slide switch, we will install the rotary encoder and the push button switch, which are both located on the bottom right edge of the PCB. The push button switch is a longer slender white component that fits onto the PCB at location SW2. The rotary encoder is a larger of these two components. It has a silver and green base and a black knob on top, which snaps securely into place on the PCB at the location labeled encoder. When soldering, be mindful that the top of the components will protrude past the clear acrylic cover for the Morserino and may not align properly if they aren't perfectly flush with the PCB. All right, so I'm pretty new to all of this still and I don't have my recording set up completely figured out at my workstation, which is why I'm doing this voiceover now. I don't have a proper microphone set up over there. So for this more Sereno build, it'll be a voiceover with some background music tracks. Uh, hopefully I'll have this resolved in the future. I did just get a microphone in the mail. So this should be resolved uh, by the next time I make a build video. Here we connect the cable with the 1.25 millimeter JST connector to the underside of the Helltech module. Be careful not to place the connector with brute force as it should fit into place without much effort. The Helltech connector is labeled with positive and negative leads and it is important to verify you have connected the cable properly to match the orientation. Red to the positive, black to the negative. 
After installing both 18-pin female headers onto the Heltec module, place the module onto the board with the USB socket facing outward and begin soldering. The ends of the cable connected to the underside of the Heltec module will be soldered onto the board at the locations labeled ESP32 positive and ESP32 negative. The red wire again will be soldered to the positive and the black wire to the negative. If you are intending to use a battery with your Morserino, you can solder the included cable with the Molex connector to the location LiPo positive and LiPo negative on the right edge of the board. The last component to install is the loudspeaker. Solder the speaker to the board with the positive pin closest to the right edge of the PCB. And that's it. All that's left to do is place the buttons on the switches and affix the acrylic cover to the Morserino. Don't forget to attach the tiny IPX coax connector onto the coax socket on the Heltec module. As always, thanks for joining me, specifically on this build of the Morserino 32. I'm planning on doing more builds in the future, so if any of you have any recommendations on what to build or any advice on how I could improve these videos, please let me know. This channel is a work in progress, and I'm very new to this whole content creation thing, so any constructive criticism is much appreciated. If you are interested in having me build a project that you are directly involved with, please reach out to me here on YouTube or at my email address listed in the description. Be on the lookout for a video in the near future where I plan on taking the Morserino 32 and demonstrating its functions and capabilities it offers. I'm currently learning Morse code myself and I intend on using this Morserino as a tool to aid in that process. Thanks again and looking forward to creating and learning with this amazing amateur radio community.